Hello everyone, welcome back to Laravel Vue.js Full Stack Development. In this video, we will uh, set up admin panel. As you can see, we have a basic admin panel down here. And we will actually take this part and we will compile to our project. And also we will learn how to uh, compile your asset files such as uh, CSS. So let's get started. This was the basic stuff I have done for you. Now let's start with the basic CSS. So here again, it's like more of like um, JavaScript that I showed you in my uh, very first part of this uh, tutorial series. Okay, now let's uh, see you have two files. Let's say CSS1.CSS. Okay, and let's say you have something uh, CSS1, anything, right? So maybe you have uh, color red, that's all, okay? And you have another CSS file. You can have a lot of CSS file, right? And let's say you have CSS2. Now, here your app.css file is empty. Now, what uh, we should do is that we should take this uh, mix style so that we can combine uh, both the CSS file into one, okay? So what it will do, it will actually go to your public folder, CSS folder, and it will uh, bring your let's say CSS 1 and it can take your CSS 2 okay and then it can make app.css okay or instead of app.css you can name it all.css so instead of app.css uh, maybe we can have a name as all.css okay so here uh, public Okay, I think I deleted the CSS folder completely. So let's make a new folder, CSS again. I have to do these things again. CSS1.css and let's make a new file. Let's say it what it says color red and this one it says maybe green. Okay. So what it does is that it will take a CSS1 first, then it will come uh, uh, merge with CSS2 and then it will take all this CSS file into one CSS file and that will be all the CSS file and then all the CSS file all we need to use in our project. Okay. Now let's see or let's run our project once again npm run watch and let's see what happens here okay here you go we have all the CSS now and you can see CSS 1 has been created and CSS 2 as well so normally all the CSS we we do not update all the uh, CSS file this is just for production you can delete it as well but we, we, we will actually write all of our CSS in the source file just like templates okay so let's delete them and we will have um, all the CSS and then we can rename it to our main.css file which where we will be actually editing so we can delete all those things and we can say okay take our main.css and put it in all the CSS files okay so perfect we will not touch all the CSS because it's always regenerated okay now let's take um, CSS from this project and let's see what CSS it has. Uh, it uh, the setup for this template is really, really different from the other one because this is Laravel and this is plain view, so it will have some problems. So we have to fix that. I could have um, done that uh, before making the video, but I thought uh, I should show you because you might be uh, needing this stuff to do yourself, so you will face a lot of problems yourself as well. So let's see together, let's solve them uh, in live in this video. Okay, now in static folder, we should have a lot of images here. Let's see where uh, we have our CSS file, static, okay. So here you go, we have a lot of CSS files here and let's take all of them here as well. And one thing is that we will have a problem with background image because you see the background image is referencing somewhere where we do not have them actually available. So let's search for them and we have to 
remove all the background images simply because we cannot um, have this one they will generate errors okay because this link is not correct so we will have to remove this background CSS and I think I don't have also those images perfect so those are gone okay now if we check this older CSS file again and if you simply rerun again you will see the older CSS file will be prefilled with uh, main.css okay all the CSS has been taken and put into the older CSS file perfect so yeah we have the older CSS and now let's check out we don't have any reference of the CSS file in our project so let's go to the welcome.blade.php file just like in my first video that's why the first video was really important and let's have a link here okay let's see one more thing is here we have lots of files uh, we have images as well and if we need any other uh, CSS other than main.css let's see if custom this okay there are a lot of J JavaScript file out there we don't need at all I don't know why they were used we will not use these things yeah grid.main.css we have to use this grid file and we have to use um, this one so grid first and this one okay so we have two CSS file here let's take them one by one okay so we have to go to our public by slash and then CSS and all dot CSS that all we need to reference refresh this page okay we have all dot CSS okay but now before all dot CSS we have to reference grid dot main dot CSS otherwise we will not have grid we are just using Vue.js grid uh, sorry um, uh, we are only using uh, bootstrap grid and nothing else this is the bootstrap grid uh, we have compiled and taken because we will use another library uh, for rest of the things so let's take this file and here in in main we can also have a new file called uh, let's say grid.main.css because it is minified already okay perfect now in our webpack.mix we have to take uh, take that file as well so you see this is really useful grid.main.css so that will be taken into consideration again and let's rerun the project Perfect. Now, if you see the older CSS file now, you see the grid is coming first and this file is coming next. Okay. And we will can, we can have another CSS file, let's say maybe, maybe command.css and we will have our own CSS stuff uh, there. Okay, perfect. And you see uh, it's already referencing older CSS, so we don't have to write grid.css at all anymore. Okay, that's, that's good. And uh, now let's move on and uh, have a menu set up here. And it says 404. Let's make uh, our routes here. And then, okay, this one is uh, referencing to our uh, view route. So we have to go come here and then we have to define a route. So, yeah. So let's start the project projects routes okay so the projects officially starts now mm. we can see basic tutorials routes okay these are not related to projects <laughs> 